Hey everyone and welcome in the Canadian Formula One Grand Prix debriefing. I'm wearing my Canadian from Montreal jersey. I was up there in Montreal, first thing first. The public was absolutely amazing. So cool to see so many fans. Formula One is in, is in love everywhere. And uh, I think Montreal really enjoy having the Formula One back. Max was uh, invincible this weekend. Max uh, avoided the rain, the problems, the mistakes, the safety car. He had the race under control. He was very impressive over the last 10 laps with Carlos Sainz behind him because the DRS was so powerful in, in Canada, in Montreal, that uh, he couldn't pull away, but he did an amazing job. Really, that was those last few laps were very impressive. No mistakes made, absolutely pushing the car to the limit lap after lap. So that was beautiful to see. And I must say, it was perfect. On the contrary, Perez, for the drivers championship had a bit of a difficult weekend not fast friday not fast on the wet crashed in qualifying i suspect the gearbox issue in the race is related to qualifying because the nose of the red bull was stuck under the barrier and when he pulled reverse and, and dropped the clutch that must have put some uh, high torque uh, under the gearbox in reverse uh, and gearbox in formula one do have to have a reverse that's the regulation but as much as you can avoid using it avoid it's really not made to be uh, to be going rearwards. Our second point, Fernando Alonso. What a pleasure to see Fernando. I mean, you look at the 20 years old driver doing his first or second season in Formula One, he's got that passion, that fire. He's just send it. Every time he was coming out of the chicane, he was, he was going sideways and uh, he was fast on the dry on Friday. It was very impressive on the wet uh, on Saturday. And he had an inter interesting strategy on Sunday. He stayed there for a long time on medium 20 laps. He was maybe one of the only drivers that could have tried a one stop strategy in the race if it wasn't for a safety car or the virtual safety car safety car later in the race and and that could have helped he got a five second penalty at the end i kind of disagree with that penalty yes he may have moved twice in the straight but first of all the straight is not straight so it's not easy to go straight and second of all let's bloody go racing let's them fight let's them you know let's them defend let's them go for it i mean unless there is a, it's good to have regulation but don't overdo it you know having fernando five seconds that was not worth it that's my opinion maybe i'm wrong but uh, that's what i feel Carlos Sainz, finally a very good weekend. Yes, absolutely. Carlos Sainz had a great weekend, a great race. He pushed really hard on Verstappen for the last 10-15 uh, laps of the race. Never really had the opportunity. Made a small mistake at the RP when he was very close from Verstappen, but that's easy to do when you're within 5 tenths, 4 tenths of the car in front of you. You lose so much downforce that everything becomes more of an issue. And because he already pushed 10 laps on his tire, when he got to uh, was two, three laps, 2 or 3 laps to the end, the tires were very fatigued, so obviously mistakes are easier. Saying all of that positive, I think the problem for Sainz was qualifying. He was going to go for pole position, but uh, he missed the last corner. Only qualified third, meaning that uh, he had to pass Fernando at the beginning and, and couldn't fit or couldn't start in front of Verstappen. So that's the only dark point for him. Good race from Leclerc as well, coming back from 19th after uh, all those penalties. But for Leclerc, good news, he's got two new engines, and I'm pretty sure that on the other teams, they're gonna be uh, struggling eventually with uh, parts. So he's, he's taking his penalties, he's come back P5, Yes, he's a bit far in the championship, but it's not over yet. Hamilton's back on the podium. More than back on the podium, he had race pace. It's not up there yet. It's not exactly at the Ferrari and the Red Bull, but it wasn't miles off. It really wasn't miles off and even had the fastest lap in the race at one point. So you know what, Mercedes is going in the right direction and that can only make us excite us because when they're back on the top, it's gonna be so good to have Ferrari, Red Bull and Mercedes and Alpine sometimes fighting for for the podium. So really enjoy seeing uh, Lewis and George doing a great race um, after after a terrible Friday for, for Lewis. They, uh, they put it back together. Zhu, uh, the Chinese driver, everyone says he's, paying, he's a paid driver, but the last two races he's been out qualifying Bottas, he's been racing really well in Baku, he had to retire due to, to reliability, but it was very good in, in Canada. Maybe a little bit too nice with Stroll, couldn't quite get the passing done, but then I believe on, on the other Aston Martin Vettel, he had a really good move, uh, was it on the outside of turn one, uh, very nice braking and very good move there, had some good pace. Wasn't quite lucky with the safety car, and that's what, uh, but why Bottas finished in front of him. But definitely should have should have been up there. So Zhu has been doing uh, has been doing great. Same as Schumacher. Uh, both has qualified really well. Schumacher had to retire for reliability issue. I don't think they quite had the pace in the race, not to fall back. But it was a bit of a shame to see him retiring from the points. Uh, on Magnussen, the race was ruined by that uh, black and orange flag. Why? 
I mean, yes, the front wing is going a little bit in pieces, but it's a small piece. And if you really want to avoid anything for the driver, put an aero screen just like IndyCar and then depart and fly and, and won't hit the driver's helmet. I, was, I wasn't really impressed with, uh, with the penalty. I really thought, felt it was very harsh and ruining Kevin's race uh, that was already damaged by the front wing and, and nothing really could have done to avoid that. It was just racing accident. A good racing with Lewis at the beginning. The part was broken and, and then Kevin's race was broken. So really disagree agree with that uh, that penalty I really also disagree with Fernando Alonso penalty didn't deserve one for moving twice on the straight I mean the straight the back straight is not even straight so how can you go straight and uh, bloody let them race bloody let them race I mean it's good to see wheel to wheel action obviously it has to be under certain limits but I didn't feel like I didn't feel like that was anything bad I thought it was good racing and I was excited to see it so yeah not very impressed on those two penalties made on, on Magnussen and Alonso it is uh, it is what it is and uh, and they have to live with it next race will be Silverstone a lot of team bringing big upgrades that's their home race I'm excited to see what's gonna be like you know such a high speed stick at Silverstone so much uh, history it's just gonna be great so please as always subscribe like leave us a comment I answer your questions have fun